it's not my place to judge. Do I believe that there's only two genders, male and female? Yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, well, what is, um, what is at the school that you were talking about? Are they teaching them, like, beyond just makeup or just, like, I, I'm not in school, so I haven't, you know. <laughs> well, I know that there are schools that have been teaching, like, in their sexual education classes, they're teaching those kind of, uh, it's not about words and knees anymore. We have part two to my interview with a member of the Cure Church. Um, got to hear her opinion, and yeah, you'll see she's not an ally, but she thinks she is. It's confusing. I will say that there are people born in this world that may have medical conditions that if they don't take medication, they're going to produce more of one hormone, and it's an adrenal gland problem. So if that person that's born with that condition is born a female, we'll say, and she decides that she likes girls, does that mean that you would turn your back on that person? I don't know. So I can't be lumped in with all. When I go to church, I go to church to hear the word. If they're not preaching the word, I'm not going to go back there. That's so right. would you say you're pro-LGBTQ, like an ally? I would say that they have their life, and it is up to them to judge. It's not my place. Because at the end of the day, the only person I have to worry about, whether it's hot in hell, or going to heaven, or not going anywhere, whatever the case may be, for what everybody believes in, for me, I don't. Want, I believe in heaven and hell. Therefore, I don't want to burn in hell. And the Bible clearly says, "Judge not, lest be judged." No, thank you. No. So then, just to be clear for the viewers, so you are or are not an ally to non-ally? Okay. I just like to, I like to make sure everything's clear whenever I'm recording. I'm not anything. an ally, but I'm not gonna sit and be a bunch of hate speech. If that makes sense. No, you do. I said. If you enjoy this video or any others, then subscribe and like so we can get the channel growing. Um, have a good one, guys. At the end of the day, it's not my place to tell someone you're wrong. I had friends that were gay. I had my next door neighbor was gay. He's one of the best friends I had. He used to come over and pick up my outfits before we went out. It, so it wasn't that. It was. At the end of the day, all I can do is I can pray for what I believe. I believe that there's only two genders, male and female. There's not the be they, them, all of that. I think I'm a cat, so put a litter box in the nurse's office kind of thing. I don't believe in any of that. That's my belief. But I'm not going to push my belief off on someone else. <laughs> I will talk about my faith. Because my faith is beyond church doors. Because my faith doesn't have anything to do with me going into a church. It has to do with my relationship with who I believe created me. And considering <coughs> my mom tried twice to, to abort me, here I stand 54 years later. Also pro life? But, at the day, but I can't, but I was day raped at 14, got pregnant. My mom had it. So, I, there's there's a lot. Like, you know, we all have trauma. We all have things going on in our life. But at the end of the day, the only walk that we have to really, really be worried about is our walk. But yet at the same time, pray for those that don't know Jesus. Right? My or at least from my standpoint. Right? Well, I appreciate everything you said. I'm actually, I'll say, like, nothing ever scares me away. Cops, no, no people, no, but bugs, so. Bugs do Yeah. Scary. So I'm going to go say I better than. Like, no, I ain't got no hate for nobody. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Life's too short. Life is way too short. It's not about religion, anyway. <laughs>
at the end of the day, everything's not so about me. It's about just, you know, I, if someone asks me, and being a teacher, I've taught someone to you. Being a teacher, I've had people ask me, do you believe in Jesus? Yeah. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Why? And then I've explained to them why. Have I told them that they should believe that? No. Absolutely not. Because I have no reason to tell them. You have to believe in God. No. I put it out there. Question, because of something else someone was saying, do you believe it's okay for a student that's questioning themselves about coming out ha is curious to go to someone other than their parent like say a trusted nurse counselor or a teacher yes nurse no to a therapist like school counselor not the type of counselors that they have now because they're not actually counselors. what would you say is a real counselor because most of the schools are now putting school psychologists or social workers well i meant like what would you require I would, as a counselor I would, I would rather them go to, if they, okay, you don't want to talk to your parents, that's cool. I got it. So, because of your age, because you are still under your parents' rules, then my suggestion would be, go talk to the social worker, go talk to the school site, and get some opinions from them, get some, you know, get your thoughts out, get everything out there, and take it from there. Maybe they have a suggestion on how you could go to your parents. Are you sure you want to go in there? Are you sound. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm me. I'm unique. That's what I'm saying. You're sounding a little more unique from what I've been hearing from the oh, I, I gentleman speaking. Unique. I don't fit into nobody's box at all. All right. I don't. No, no, no. I'm not saying. That. I'm saying if you're going in, though, I'm gonna say enjoy your time. <laughs> I, you. From the conversation again. But it doesn't sound like no. All of them. I have no hate for nobody no. and. I mean, as you have talked to me, I'm hoping you can attest that. That's why I record everything, so I no one even asks a question. Just because. Bible says that there will be deception. 